All right, fellas, the video is coming up tonight. Final unveil of the new F-bomb giveaway is coming. But in the meantime, I'm dropping this video of a brand new build. We had to update it from the other one. For our boy, Mr. Day and Callie. And uh, we're gonna twist this one up pretty good. When this video actually was shot, it was a couple months ago. Stay tuned, watch it. And at seven o'clock central tonight, we are dropping the new giveaway. So stay tuned. All right, peace. All right, fellas, we are here with the video of, as you can see in the news being the past week or so, the new 24, 2024s have dropped and we had to scoop one up and we had to do a rife upgrade for our boy, Mr. Day in California. He is gonna be uh, hopefully, well, one of the first, I should say not one of the first, but the first here out of our shop, a 2024 build, but an actual big wheel build. So this is gonna get a 30 full stretch, all the goodies. It probably will be one of the first ones in the country too at this point. A lot of people are doing the performance bagger stuff, so they're just kind of doing those. Probably gonna do that stuff real quick because it's easier, but we're gonna tear into it and go to town and give uh, give it a F-bomb touch. But I'm gonna sip on my coffee here and give you what I've seen so far just from picking it up of what is the difference and what is the same and what is different from these 20, 24s to so what is the difference in the 2024s and the 2023s and what is the same so right off the back right off the bat we're going to start with the back here and the back is is a stock fender all they did was add these little freaking turn signal pieces on here right here and then left a shorty fender on it and called that a 2024 the bags yes we all know the bags are definitely wider they are growing on me being this wide i dig them um, but other than that, the hardware is the same. The mounting is the same. You can't obviously use these on the older lids because the hardware is extended. It's, it's bigger for the bigger lid, but that is, you know, technically all the guts are the same if you were to break it down. Saddlebag support bracket, completely the same, obviously with that fender. The seat is a nice updated seat. Definitely looks better than what the other seats used to look like. It has more of a mat to it. And then it's got a perforated look right here, following on the stitch and whatnot. Going to the tank, you can see the tank is definitely bigger. I can guarantee you this much that when we take that pump out, it's gonna be the same exact pump. I'll tell you that right now. Yep, it's got the single on it. And actually by looking at it now, it's got a, 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 a Schrader valve right there, which is kind of cool for fuel pressure testing. So they made that a little easier. And I guess while I'm down here, I haven't popped the side cover off, but I'm assuming that's still the same. They just kind of made the side cover look different. The frame, I know for, for a fact, the back is the same. But looking at what we got going on right here, what we pointed out before, talking to those, those leaked videos, the coil pack has moved. The horn is down there like CVO, so that's been there. Uh, but now these things are water-cooled and you got this hose that runs down here versus having the oil cooler line that ran on the top and then you got this ugly ass lazy mounted reservoir for the coolant that they they, they basically thought well shit we designed the whole bike and we forgot to put a coolant reservoir somewhere so we're just going to make this asshole bracket right here and stick it right there and call it a day kind of like where they just stuck the horn right there and didn't even put a cover over it or nothing which is basic and then looking at it, let me reach my hand down here. So yeah, you have your rubber hose. Sorry, I stuck my hand down there. You have your rubber hose that runs a tube down below. Um, that's for your coolant line, which to me, I think gets snagged or something. That'll be fun. So I, I'm assuming this is the radiator now. It's not the oil cooler, because in reality there is no oil cooler, but I could be wrong. We'll know when we tear into it, unless I am correct we will find out but moving to the front the wheels are now a different design I would say they're like an agitator look but they're 13 inch rotors not 11 8 and all they did was basically recast the fork can't the, for, the lower forks to have it extend out farther right here as you can see almost like when you buy those brackets if you buy a wheel with a 13 inch rotor and you want to use your stock caliper that's what that is for. 
can't put my coffee there because it's going to fall. Moving over to the now show side, they call it. You can see right off the bat, they got a big old honky air cleaner on here. That's because the throttle body is now turned sideways. I know that from seeing the pictures. Uh, this has the VVT, which is variable valve timing. If you're not aware of that, it basically allows your cam. Your cam is what causes your, you know, you put a cam in it, you want that lope. So this gives you that lope because it can actually change the height of the cam or the degree of it. Um, so that's why this extra guts is right here and you got the harness for it. Um, exa exhaust is all the same. Even from the 17 and down, the starter looks to be the same. This is the only difference right here, which I was told this is now the, I think the neutral, neutral light indicator or gear, gear shift indicator. And like, they just put that sensor there for what reason? I don't know. And they just stuck this, this plastic cover. It's like, I don't know what's more cheap, that or that right there. It's like, man, guys, come on. What are we doing here? Rocker boxes look to be the same. Everything else looks to be the same. They did change a vent. They have a vent tube now coming from the top of the trans. So I don't know if that is um, their fix or would they have their primary breathing issue way back when? I don't know. But going to this side, we have what is probably the worst part of this bike. These things. My God, these hand controls are freaking horrible. What are they thinking? And like the master cylinder looks like it's off a dirt bike now. So what did, what did they do here? But yeah, those are hideous. And like I said in the cruising video, or what I will say in the cruising video, which I just did, these are like 10 inch bars or eight inch bars. And, and my arms are already worn out riding them. I don't know how little guys are gonna do it, but that's a little, it's a little different for Harley. But you can see there's no gauge here now because everything is on the screen. So with that, they kind of went cheap and didn't do the gauge cluster triple tree cover like they do on the older ones. They just did this top cover piece, which is kind of weird. But we're going to see if we can get a whole piece in there and kind of cover all that up with an older one and then just chop the gauge. I think actually Dirty Bird makes a, a cover that we might throw on there. Um, going into here, you would think this is a, a raised windshield, like adjustable, but it's not. It's just on these mounts, so we're definitely going to delete that. And then you have this vent, functional vent right here. Well, well, we'll most likely keep this piece right here, maybe mold it or something. But, you know, your meat, your potatoes is right here. Still got that protection on there, but yeah, I guess we're not going to see in here because of the glare. Hold on. Might have to go inside which is probably the case. But yeah, you got your whole screen and, and right off the bat, going into the navigation, you gotta get used to these controls. Does it let me turn into it or no? Or is it still loading? Okay, here we go. So here, you want navigation? Wow. What do we got going on here? This, this this right off the bat is slow. Takes a minute to load. So look at this, navigation disabled. Scan QR code, visit your local dealer or go to hd.com nav to activate navigation. You have to pay $399 to get navigation for this bike. It doesn't come with it. That is goofy. That is just a Tesla move where they're just gonna try charging you for all this extra shit after the fact. So that I don't like. So who knows what else they're gonna do to it. But you can see here, just to show you before we get to it, I got my coffee in my other hand, so I guess I should put it down. You got a three, three, three light switch right here, because what's actually doing is it's high beams, regular, and then if you click it, this is cool. You get the flashers so you can flash someone now, which is nice. So you just hit that. But I'm gonna throw the signal on here. This is the cool part of the bike. Well, we all remember that picture that when this came out, that leaked picture, it looked all distorted and stupid. Um, it isn't, it actually looks really, really good. And I think once we trick it out and do our thing, 
it'll uh, it'll look pretty dope. And now looking at it, it actually got a point to the front. I never noticed that right there. So that'll be interesting. I would have liked to see it a little more square, but whatever it is what it is. But yeah, this thing just looks badass. That's for sure. So let me know what you guys think. Are you, are you uh, sticking with the uh, your bike you own? Are you planning on upgrading to one of these? Are you gonna wait? Let me know, drop a comment. All right guys, we're gonna journey it up here and get my thoughts on what's going on with this bike. All right fellas, it's time to rip it. Hopefully this mic isn't crazy loud because it's right in my mouth, in the helmet. So right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you this much. This um, handlebar is way bigger than the old ones. These are probably like easily 10 inches. And I'm six foot five and they're shoulder height which is pretty crazy. So I don't know how that would be for shorter people. But we're on our way here. The screen is cool. I'm gonna have to screw with it. See how uh, the different settings are. A little windy out. Riding in six gear, 61 mile an hour. Gonna hang this right, leaning it low, not too shabby. It's only got 11 miles on it, so it is brand new. I don't know that this uh, interfering or this fairing vent is doing too much. We're cruising at 76, which I honestly don't think we're doing 76. Seems like the speedo is way off. I always notice the speedos on the Harley Davidsons are way, way off. I should put my GPS on my phone, see what it actually is doing. See how she rips here. Gets it. Almost felt the wheel pull up. Doing about 985. I don't know how loud it's gonna be. Just hit a bug. It's in sport mode, which there's different modes, sport and touring. I'm assuming that's just horsepower. I'm gonna kill the traction control here. Or turn it on or to hit the button. I don't know if it's blinking or what it's supposed to do, but I'm gonna rip on this bitch. See what you got. Got a left hand turn lane here. I'm gonna ease into it. I'm not gonna drop the clutch. I'll roll it out a little bit. Just pulled the wheel. Pulled the wheel in second too. Definitely getting little, little, little wheelies which is kind of cool for a stock bike. I'll tell you this much, my arms are already hurt. These bars are too big for me. I like my bars low. Good old bumpy Joliet Roads. Good old bumpy Illinois Joliet Roads. Let's do some neighborhood cruising, screw it. A 
I've already forgot how to do the, is it mode? It's not mode. Oh, that's, there's mode, there's a rain mode too. But I've already forgot, there it is, this one. How to change these screens. And, 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 and here's the other thing. How do I switch out of this one over here? You want to hear something funny? You got to pay $399 to activate the navigation. That is not included. You can't even see the map right now. All it shows is a, a QR code and it says scan QR navigation disabled. Scan QR code, visit your local dealer or go to hd.com slash nav. Uh, to activate navigation so they're trying to pull a Tesla here and and make you pay for all this extra stuff so yeah okay all the bikes are gonna be cheaper in the long run but yeah if you got to pay extra in the future or after how is that any different I mean there's literally nothing that you can change it just shows the gauges and and then this middle box where the navigation should be just a stupid QR code. <laughs> I still can't get over these hand controls though. It's like guys that you could have you could have made them a little smaller. My lord. Was this like a rush job or what? Or did they take them from Indian? Because I want to say they look like Indians. Oh. But I don't know, we're gonna tear into it. Be one of the first big wheels, kind of do our little thing. It's gonna be a learning process for the outer fairing and the inner fairing and that stupid water cooler. Um, but everything else is basically the same, so we don't have to worry about that stuff. So, so it should be cool. I love the fairing. I love the outside of the fairing though. Like I said it before, it just looks dope. Um, Everything else is, you know, a little bland here and there and some of the factory stuff. At least they did the fairing right. Rear fender, that's just a lazy slap, slap on. No redesign. Everything else is the same as the 23s, 22s, the floorboards, the exhaust. Even the saddlebag hardware is the same, it's just, it's just bigger. So let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment below. Is this 2024 for you? Are you going to keep your bike? We will uh, go into another video here, maybe a part two of us tearing it down and, and just giving our thoughts on everything and, you know, let you guys know. And, uh, what you call it, get, um, get into the dirty and... get into the dirty and let and see what's all up in this beach 